Hello and welcome. My name is Alex and this is RJ OCD Recovery. In this video, I'm going to be telling you the worst thing that you can do if you want to overcome retroactive jealousy and OCD. But before we get into the video, please smash that like button. This helps with the YouTube algorithm and we'll get this video out to more people who need to see it. And if you need more help overcoming retroactive jealousy and OCD, I have created the RJ OCD Recovery Group. This is a private group that is free to join. And in this group, you'll be supported and interacting with other people who are on the healing journey, overcoming retroactive jealousy. You'll have access to all of the different courses I've created around education in retroactive jealousy. And we also have bi-weekly accountability calls over Zoom that are open for anyone to join. We'd love to get to meet you as a group and see how we can support you on your healing journey. So if you're interested in joining, the link is in the description box below and in my YouTube account profile. So what is the worst thing that you can do if you want to overcome retroactive jealousy? The worst thing that you can do is acting, thinking, believing, and feeling like a victim, holding on to a victim mentality. Why is this so harmful to your recovery process. If you feel like a victim, if you feel triggered by your partner's past, and you are blaming your partner and their past for how you feel and for the pain that you are suffering, what you are essentially doing is giving all of your power away. You are the victim of the circumstance in your life that is completely disempowering to you in that situation. As long as you are holding on to a victim mentality, you will never heal and you will never make any of the necessary changes that you need to make in order to feel better. You need to understand that if you are triggered by something, if something in your life is causing you pain and frustration and anger, it is because of you, not the thing itself. There is nothing that your partner can do to help you feel better. It won't work. You have to make changes fundamentally on several different levels in order for you to feel better. And you cannot do that if you believe that you are the victim of a circumstance in your life. Now, what is the complete opposite of being a victim or a victim mentality? It is radical responsibility. Wow, what is radical responsibility? Doesn't that sound and feel quite different? What radical responsibility is, is taking full ownership for every single thing in your life, your diet, your sleep schedule, your routine, your thoughts, your emotions, who you spend your time with, all of these things, and making the necessary changes there that you need to in order to feel better and to make the progress that you need to make. Cultivating radical responsibility is understanding that no one is going to come and save you. That ultimately it's your responsibility and only yours if you wanna make any change in your own life. Now, that might sound kinda of scary and isolating, but I encourage you to try to reframe and tweak that idea into making it feel more empowering. If you have full control over everything in your life, that means that nobody can get in the way of anything that you want to do. Right? You can make any change that you want. No circumstance can hold you back. You are the creator of your own life and your reality. And so if you can take the actions that you need to and allow these changes to manifest, you can overcome RJ. But you will never do that if you're holding on to this victim mindset and blaming your partner for feeling the way that you're feeling. It starts by taking responsibility taking the actions that you need to take and being consistent with those actions. There's a reason why not every single person in the world is suffering from retroactive jealousy. It's because the computer in their head is different from yours. So if you can take the necessary steps to change the computer in your noggin, becoming more secure, improving your self-esteem, more self-love, right? Relaxing your brain and your nervous system, you can overcome RJ and become one of those people. But it starts by you taking full ownership 
and becoming radically responsible for your current life situation. All right, I hope that that video was helpful. And if you need more help in overcoming retroactive jealousy and OCD, you can join the RJ OCD recovery group using the link below and get access to support from all of the other members, the courses that I've created, and bi-weekly accountability calls over Zoom. I look forward to meeting you and seeing you in that group. Take care, guys.